We are starting off this episode at the range with our guest Trevor Young from High Viz Shooting Systems. Well, High Viz was started in 1996, so we're over 20 years in business now. After our first site, uh, you know, back in 1996, um, slowly fiber optic sites started to become more mainstream and, and uh, you started to see them show up on a lot more firearms. Uh, as the benefit of the site was seen, um, need for sites for other applications grew quite quickly and we've tried to uh, meet that need with uh, you know, innovative products, um, products that are unique and, and have features that are not like other companies make. You know, the, our ability to mold our fiber, mold our light pipes, uh, we can make shapes, we can make triangles, uh, squares, we can just mold them and make them into products um, that, that other companies just can't do. So we've just tried to uh, innovate and uh, create products that better serve the customer and make them a better shooter. Our line of handgun sights is what has really expanded in the last 10 to 12 years. Uh, in the last 10 years it's over doubled the applications that we make for handguns. Uh, we make a variety of styles of handgun sights. We make uh, front and rear for many guns, uh, for revolvers and some other applications. We only, you know, we just make fronts. Many of them have interchangeable light pipes. Uh, we now make the Lightwave H3, which is a tritium and fiber optic handgun sight. Uh, we have those available for about eight different brands of guns or makes, uh, and we'll be adding to that this year, even by the end of the year. With the growing popularity of fiber optic sights on handguns and revolvers, Trevor will walk us through how easy it is to install your own pair of high-vis sights. Well, this is a 460 Smith & Wesson, uh, which came with our fiber optic sight on it. Uh, and the sight mounting arrangement is what they call the DX style sight. So it has a pin through it, but it also has a spring-loaded plunger mechanism. So to remove the sight, you simply pull the nose of the sight backwards and lift up and the sight comes out. So we're going to replace the fiber optic sight with our new Lightwave H3, which is tritium and fiber optic. So it has a tritium capsule that's embedded inside the fiber optic or inside the light pipe. And then you have the light pipe exposed. And then on the beating end, we also have a white ring around it. <clears throat> we're going to install this in the Smith & Wesson X-Frame. And this has the DX type uh, sight mount which has a spring plunger and a pin arrangement to it. So to install these sights, you take the back end of the sight and hook it onto the plunger and then push it down. That's as easy as it is to change. Several Smiths come with this type of arrangement, not just the X-frame. And we make different heights of sights uh, that will go on any of those. So any Smith & Wesson that has that DX type style sight, we, will, we have fiber optic available. And we now have the Lightwave H3. Here we have an example of our lightwave fiber optic sights. These particular sights come with different colored light pipes. You can interchange the colors. They come with, the fronts come with green, red, and white. The rears come with green, red, and black. I want to show you how easy it is to change light pipes on our sights. We ensure that this firearm is unloaded. I'm going to drop the slide. This is the light pipe tool. It both removes and installs or disengages and installs the light pipes, and it holds the extra light pipes. How we remove the light pipes is we use this projection on the end of the tool. You want to place it on the muzzle end of the light pipe, push slightly down and rearward to disengage the light pipe. The light pipe simply comes out of the sight. To reinstall a light pipe, simply insert it from the rear. And on handgun sights, we recess the head of the light pipe to prevent a halo image on the, on the sight. So I like to use the tool or the projection end again to push on it and just push it until it fully seats and locks. The rear sights are changed in the exact same manner. Use the tool, push down slightly and backwards to remove the light pipe. Light pipes come out, then insert it. Use the tool to push forward until you hear it lock in place or it fully seats. Simple to change, easily replaceable. It's a unique feature about HiViz is that since we mold our light pipes, we're able to make them in different colors. We're able to make them removable, replaceable, and reusable. So if you want to change colors, you take out the red and insert the green. The red are still usable. You can change them back. If one breaks, you can always contact us and get extra light pipes. We have light pipes available for virtually every site we've ever made. 
We also include blacklight pipes with our rear sights. Many people like to have the rear sight just blacked out. Instead of buying a separate rear sight, you can simply remove the fiber optic and install the black light pipes. We also include a white light pipe with the front sight. Sometimes in certain lighting conditions, especially indoor ranges, fiber optic can be hard to see if they don't have enough light. Uh, inserting a white light pipe in the front can help in those situations. Hi Viz, we have uh, handgun sights available for many makes and models. If you want some more information, give us a call or contact us on our website.